Okay. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Okay, Mary, what, what does this mean to you? Well, it means everything because it means a continuation of, of encouragement for young people in Northern Ireland to get involved in sport. It doesn't have to be athletics, but if they come and see this wonderful venue that Belfast City Council spent 2.5 million on upgrading, they may be inspired, but there's also other sports that they can take an active interest in, and I hope it is a, an inspiration to a whole new generation of young people. Is this humbling for you? Very humbling. So I, I always said I didn't want a bronze statue, but I think that um, it's nice to have it in your lifetime and you have some control over the work that's done. And I saw it last Monday in the foundry and I just went, wow, because John Sherlock is such a fine sculptor. When you look at this for the future generations, uh, what do you want them to take out of this? I want them to feel that I was a very ordinary little schoolgirl who rose to be Olympic champion. And it was because I was given many opportunities, but I took those opportunities. And sometimes people think, no, it's not for me. But if you don't try, you never know. And I wasn't a great athlete. I just was given those opportunities. And I did it under difficult circumstances because it was through the years of the Troubles and 1972 was a really bad year here. Uh, we had a, a track that was crumbling because it was a, a, an experiment. I worked full time. I had to travel on two buses to get here to do my training. So it wasn't an easy journey. But when you stand on that rostrum and hear your national anthem being played and you receive your gold medal, it's worth it. So what's the e everlasting uh, memory you have of your career? Oh, standing on the rostrum. <laughs> Unless your name's Ben Johnson, they can never take a gold medal away from you. Mary, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.